Here's your Saturday evening weather forecast. Not a whole lot going on across south central Mississippi early this evening. Maybe just a couple of tiny showers with partly cloudy skies across the southern portions of the state. It is pretty hot out there though. Right now it's 621 p.m. 91 degrees at the airport in downtown Jackson. It's still very humid. Of course, the dew point is in the low 70s. It's depressive outside. The wind is out of the north right now at nine miles per hour out of the north because we have Florence. It's affecting the Carolina coast and we have drier air coming in from the northern United States. So it feels very hot out there. 98 the heat index in Jackson, 100 in Macomb right now. Hottest spot on the map, Hattiesburg with a heat index of 102 this late in the day. I know it's Saturday, but it's all the more important to stay hydrated out there for sure. So we have three active storms in the Atlantic right now. We've got Tropical Storm Helene and Tropical Storm Joyce. These are way out there in the north central Atlantic and they will more than likely not be impacting the United States. Helene will curve off to the north and possibly impact places like Ireland and the United Kingdom. And then Joyce will meander back down to the south and to the east as a tropical depression over the next couple of days. Then we've got the remnants of what was Tropical Storm Isaac. This has a 20% chance of redeveloping into, or at least back into a tropical depression over the next five days. But I'm not really concerned about it. It's just going to track west and maybe just kind of remain a cluster of showers at best, I think, uh, over the next coming days. Then we've got tropical Tropical storm Florence, which was a hurricane and made landfall uh, back Friday, back on Friday morning, yesterday morning, and it's still bringing substantial impacts to the Carolina coast, even as a tropical storm, because it's only moving to the west at two miles per hour. It's just barely moving. And so we have more steady bands of heavy rain that are coming ashore. Uh, across parts of uh, South Carolina and North Carolina. It will continue its track to the west ever so slightly and then curve off to the north by the time we get to around Monday and then likely make its way up into the northeastern states by Tuesday as just a remnant low. So we have more in the way of heavy rain and flash flooding occurring across southeast Texas thanks to just a weak tropical wave that's not a name storm, but it's still producing a lot of flash flooding across portions of uh, southern Texas, mainly near Galveston. And the flash flood warnings for Florence extend from the coastline all the way inland to near Charlotte and the flooding has just been extensive across this portion of the country. We even have a tornado warning with this band of heavy rain that's coming in uh, right now just uh, just before 630 PM and the rainfall totals have just been incredible to say the least uh, across this 100 mile swath extending inland. We have on average 15 inches of rain. That's on average and locally speaking amounts are much higher than that close to two feet across uh, locally local areas uh, just to the northeast of Wilmington as well. Same goes for Wilmington. Wilmington itself, very high rainfall amounts over the past uh, past two or three days, and those amounts will unfortunately continue to go up as Florence ever so slowly makes its way inland and then back up to the north. So additionally, we could see 12 to 18 inches of rain across portions of North Carolina and extending northward as far north as southern Virginia. So over the next couple of days, we're going to remain on the western side of Florence. We'll be on the drier side of the storm, so it's just going to be hotter and definitely drier going into the next couple of days. Highs will be back up into the mid 90s for tomorrow and I think for Monday and Tuesday as this ridge takes over aloft and really just keeps the sunshine going and the hotter and dry weather going all the way into Wednesday. So for tonight's forecast, we'll have mainly clear skies and warm temperatures overnight tonight, low down to 74 in Jackson. Light north breeze coming in at three to five miles per hour overnight, going up to five to 10 miles per hour during the day tomorrow, high of 94. It'll be hot and humid. The heat index will be back up into the upper 90s to near 100 degrees again for Sunday afternoon as well. That trend is going to continue for Monday and Tuesday. Rain chances holding at 10% through Tuesday, progressively going back up into the midweek and later next week, which is isolated rain chances Friday and Saturday, and those highs getting just a tad bit lower for Friday and Saturday in the low 90s. But overall, summer is really not going anywhere for the time being.